Making It, brought to you by General Foods International Coffee. It's our flavor that makes us special. Get her this 10-speed blender. I don't know. She's already got whip and puree. What more could a woman need? Yeah. <laughs> there must be something in here I could get her. Oh, what about this? Thrilled to this constantly changing panorama of life. A fascinating gift for young and old alike. Tina, it's an ant farm. <laughs> she always wanted property. <laughs> hey, my baby, listen. Would you tell your mother I'm out warming up the car? Sure. Uh, Daddy, what are you getting Ma for a birthday? I hope it's something a little more romantic than what you got her last year. What's wrong with ice cube trays? <laughs> ice cube trays. <laughs> Billy, we really got to start looking. We only have till Saturday. Yeah. Oh, well, I want to get her something special, but, you know, I don't know really what she wants. Well, she once told me she wanted to run barefoot through Clint Eastwood's hair. Maybe you can arrange that. <laughs> You're a cute kid. <laughs> Where's your father? Well, he's warming up the car, Ma. Okay. Watch, I'm going to use a little psychology to find out what Ma wants. Watch this. Hey, Ma, what do you want for your birthday? <laughs> oh, I don't know, honey. Anything you always love your presents. Yeah, I know, but I want to get you something special. Well, nah. I don't want to mention it, because I know it's impossible. Uh, Ma, does this have anything to do with Clint Eastwood's hair? No. Uh. <laughs> No, honey, no. You know what I'd really like? I would love for the whole family to be together. What do you mean, Mug? The family is going to be together. I mean, the whole family. Oh, Tony. Yeah. Tony hasn't been here for a long time. I'd like it to happen, Ma, but... Yeah, you... nah, I know. It's impossible. Ah, so what? I know your father will get me something real exciting for my birthday. Yeah. Like an extension cord. <laughs> Tina, Ma's gonna get what she wants for her birthday. What are you talking about? I'm gonna get Tony to come to the party. You're nuts. Pop will be here. Tony won't come. I'll talk him into it. Hey, you know what a good talker I am. You remember the time I talked to you into cleaning out the attic? <laughs> I told you there was buried treasure up there. <laughs> Found 60 bucks. You're kidding. No. Hey, well, uh, how about half? Get out of here. Get out of here. Tony, whenever we're together, we have the greatest time. I love coming here with you, being with you, dancing with you, holding you. You're the most wonderful person in the world. Same to you. <laughs> Tony, when you sweet talk me like that, I'm helpless. <laughs> what is it? Tony, I gotta talk to you. It's very important. This isn't. Hey, come on. <laughs> Hillary, will you excuse us for a minute? We have to talk. Listen, here's what I want you to do. Go downstairs, get in your car, close your eyes, count to 100. When you open your eyes, if I'm not there, wait. <laughs> oh, she's so sweet. Make it fast. <laughs> hey, Tony. What are you getting Ma for her birthday? You interrupted me for that? Her birthday's Saturday. Um, well, I'll get her something nice tomorrow. What does she like? She still like jewelry? Yeah. But I know what she'd rather have. <laughs> well, you want to share it with the rest of the class? Oh. <laughs> Tony, Ma wants you to come to her party. No, no, no. Yes, 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 yes. No. You know what would be like? I come home with Pop there. 15 minutes, we'll be shampooing each other with birthday cake. <laughs> Ma doesn't need that at a party. All right. If that's your attitude, fine. But I gotta tell you something. This thing you got with Pop, I think you're being a real baby about it. Who's being a baby? Hi, you are. <laughs> Look, maybe you two will never make up, but that's no reason why you can't come home and say hello to your own mother. That's your attitude? That's my attitude. All right, then. You know what? You and me, we got nothing to talk about because you're wrong about this, so don't ever bother me with it again. You understand? On the other hand, there's, every, there's, a, there's the smallest possibility that possibly maybe you're right. Now, careful, Tony. This will go to my head. All right. So I make an appearance at Mom's birthday party. Yeah? Yeah. Ah, oh, Tony! 
Oh, you're the greatest. No, it's, it's, it's okay. okay. It's, it's okay with brothers. It's all right. It's okay with brothers. Don't ever do that again. <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> hey, Tony. You're gonna make Ma's day. It's gonna be the best party she ever had. Yeah. And I'm gonna bring her a terrific present. No, no, no. Don't bring. Send. Send? Yeah. Picture this. It's Saturday morning, the day of Ma's birthday, right? Uh -huh. Now birds are chirping. <laughs> Dogs are barking. <laughs> Children laughing in the streets. <laughs> Meanwhile, at the Manucci home, the doorbell rings. Bing bong. It's the delivery man. And what's he got? A net for you. Come on, Billy. Loosen up. Get into the spirit of things. It's Ma's birthday. Put on a hat. Happy now? Yeah. Come on, Pop, put on a hat. <laughs> Where's the birthday girl? Yeah, she went out to pick up her cake. <laughs> you sent Ma to pick up her own birthday cake? It's her birthday. <laughs> hey, Pop. Hey, what did you think of the gift Tony gave Ma? Huh? That was one gorgeous pair of earrings, wasn't it? Wasn't bad. How he could afford them. Uh... Hey, come on, Pop. Will you admit it? Tony did good, right? That was a pleasant surprise. Your brother did a very thoughtful thing. Uh-huh. Oh, well, um, Billy, is your gift coming? Oh, yeah, any minute. I just hope Ma's home so that when he, uh, it, uh, my gift, gets here. <laughs> Telephone. I guess. <laughs> Hello. Dorothy, where are you? What? You what? I can't believe this. What? What? Your mother's been arrested. <laughs> Hey, now, wait a minute, Pop. Will you just calm down? What, what happened? Uh, well, uh, I, I don't know very much yet, but it, it seems that your, uh, your mother was uh, driving along and a, and a cop uh, uh, pulls her over and, uh, you know, because she's got that broken headlight on the car, which you were supposed to have fixed. Well, anyway, you know how your mother is. She, she can resist no opportunity to brag about you, kids, so she shows the cop the new set of earrings given to her by her son. Turns out they match the description of a pair that was part of a big robbery last week. And wait a minute. Tony gave Ma those earrings. How could this happen? Let's not ignore the obvious. Well, Daddy, come on. Tony wouldn't do something like that. I'd like to believe that, honey. Hey, Pop, you can believe it, huh? Will you just leave Tony's name out of this, and I promise you, I'll get to the bottom of this. All right. But I better have some answers by tomorrow. Oh. Hey, listen, I'm gonna go find Tony. Why don't you go with Pop? Poor Ma, it must be so depressing to spend your birthday in jail. Yeah. I'm gonna bring her a hat. Yeah. <laughs> Surprise! 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 There doesn't seem to be anybody home, Tony. You notice. <laughs> Boy, how do you like that? You're 15 minutes late, everybody leaves. Tony, you wanted to change my flat tire. I had to change your flat tire. It was flat. <laughs> take it easy. Oh, I'm Tony. gonna take it easy. I'm gonna take it easy because I know who's behind this. My father's behind this. He don't want me to take it easy, but I'm gonna take it easy because I know what happened. He probably heard I was coming. He loaded everyone in a car, took them for a drive to get ice cream in Tijuana. <laughs> That's it, man. He ain't getting to me because I'm finished. That's it. It's over. No more. Are we staying? I don't know. <laughs> hey, let's go to my place. Huh? Why not? Yeah. And, and you can relax, and, and I'll go to the Inferno and pick up a couple of burgers, huh? And then I'll come home, and I'll help you relax. Get out, get out, get out. <laughs> hey, 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 my mother lives here. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. Let's go. Tony, you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. What's that? So, old Tony Minute set up his own mother for a ride to the big house. 
Boy, that's disgusting. It makes my stomach crawl. Guys, listen, I told you it's a mistake. Hey, there's Hillary. Maybe she knows where Tony is. Come on. Hi, Hillary. Hi, Billy. Have, uh, you seen Tony? Oh, yeah, he's waiting for me at my place. And I better get going. He hates cold buns. Oh, well, listen, uh, I got something important to ask him. Do you mind if I go with you? Well, actually, I mind a lot. I'd kind of like to be alone with Tony to thank him for the great present he gave me last night. How do you like it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, that's a pretty humongous jewel you got there. Yeah, it's a ruby. Tony says it matches my eyes. It's red. We were up real late when he said it. <laughs> hey, did, uh, did he happen to mention uh, where he got it? Now, that's interesting. I asked him that, and he said, never mind. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, well, I'll see you guys later, OK? Yeah, take it easy, Hillary. <laughs> what? 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 It's a coincidence, that's all. Tony wouldn't have stolen things. Hey, Tony's an unpredictable guy. Remember the time we threatened to beat me up and instead beat up Kingfish? <laughs> sure fooled me. Hey, I've just been overcome with an idea. Let's go over to Tony's apartment and look around and see if he's got any stolen goods. <clears throat> You're half right. I usually am. <laughs> We're gonna go over to Tony's apartment, but not to find stolen goods, but to prove he's innocent. Look, at I know my brother. He may have his faults, but he's no thief. Come on, we'll go in Bernard's truck. You know, it's sad, Billy kidding himself like that. What do you mean? I didn't bring the truck. That is sad. <laughs> I don't know when Tony's coming back, so let's make this quick. Anybody want Chinese food? Uh, Kingfish, will you put that back? You eat Tony's food, he'll know someone was here. Nah, he'll never know. We'll just take these egg rolls and suck out the insides. <laughs> uh, there'll be no egg roll sucking tonight. Now, these go back in here. Now, Tony will never know we were here. What? But... Bernard! What are you doing? I saw this movie once where the thief put everything he stole inside a pillow. Oh, what am I talking about? It wasn't a pillow, it was a wall safe. Boy, where's my mind at today? <laughs> Gun. I want a gun. Hey, I got a thought. Why don't we break down the walls and look for secret passageways? Uh, two guns. I want two guns. Yeah. Oh, come on, we're leaving. Hey, wait, we haven't found anything yet. Look, we're making a big mistake here. Yeah? Yeah, yeah if Tony gets home and sees us, it'd be terrible. Yeah? Yeah. Everything had come out, and he realized that the family suspected him of being a thief. So? So, so then he'd never come home. Oh. oh. Ah. <laughs> What are we gonna do? Uh, let's hide somewhere. Yes, yeah, uh, the closet. It's over there. Get in it. Oh, <laughs> to my hot dog cart. I'll never forget your first words. Yeah. You got sauerkraut? <laughs> you remember. Hey, I'm a sentimental guy. <laughs> Tell her. What? What is it? Somebody broke in here. Really? Could they still be here? It's a possibility. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Don't ever do that. You better go home and let me handle this. Come here. All right, but you call me in a half an hour so I know you're okay. Well, be careful, Tony. Hey, don't worry. Danger is my middle name. <laughs> I thought your middle name was Herbert. <laughs> Good night, Kevin. <laughs> Bernard. Oh, Bernard, are you in there? No, I'm not here. <laughs> good. That's good, because then nobody's in my closet. No. Right, Kingfish? Right. Billy's not in here either. Hello, Billy. Hi, Tony. How's it going? 
I was just uh, wondering, what are you doing in my closet? <laughs> closet? Gee, guys, I told you this wasn't a bathroom. <laughs> Get out of there. Uh, Tony, I, I just want to say uh, that we are truly embarrassed and ashamed by this. And if you never speak to Billy again, it suits us fine. <laughs> Guys, I gotta talk to Tony alone, huh? <laughs> Go home. I'm waiting for an explanation. What, an explanation? You... Hey, don't give me that. Look, I go to the house, there's nobody there. I come home, you're subletting my closet. <laughs> Something's coming down, and I want to know what it is. <sighs> I knew I shouldn't have come here. Tony, a little while ago, Ma got arrested. What? What for? She was wearing stolen earrings, the ones you gave her. You think I stole them? No. You think I'm a thief? I don't think that. Well, what would you sneak in here for? I came here to prove you were innocent. You are innocent, aren't you? No. Of course I'm innocent. I bought those earrings in, a, in an actual store with a counter, a clerk, a carpet, the whole works. Hey, I, hey come on. No, th that must have cost an arm and a leg. And then I saw that jewel you gave Hillary. I mean, it must have been like Pop said. You know, you couldn't afford it. Pop. Pop thinks I'm a thief. Well, for your information, and for Pop's, I bought those earrings with the money I was saving up to get a new stereo. And as for the ruby... Yeah. I give these to all the girls I really care about. <laughs> They're not real. <laughs> well, wait a minute, then I'm confused. How could Ma get arrested? I don't know. Let's go down to the police station and find out. Yeah. Ma! Hi, honey. Come on in. Are you okay? I'm fine. Hi, Ma. Hi, honey. Hi, sweetheart. Oh, boy. I haven't seen you for so long. I mean, look at my baby. Ma, come on. I gotta talk to you. This is really important. Hey, uh, maybe you two wanna be alone, huh? Yeah, honey, why don't you wait in the next room? There is no next room. This is it. <laughs> Well, it's, it's real nice, honey, yeah. It's got a lot of possibilities. Yeah? Mm-hmm. We could possibly move. <laughs> hey, look, I'll just wait in the hall, huh? Okay, that's fine. Oh, honey, don't talk to strangers. And I won't play with matches. Good boy. <laughs> Ma? Ma, look, I gotta talk. Sit down, please. Listen, I feel terrible about all this. I don't know how it happened. But I bought those earrings. Uh, it's okay, no, Tony. No, it's not, because Pop thinks I'm a thief. You probably no, think no, I'm wait, a thief. Wait, wait, honey, honey, wait a second. Hold on, hold on. Sit down. Tony, we know you didn't do anything. You do? Uh-huh, sure. Yeah, the police let me go. Your, your earrings weren't the one that were stolen. Well, what's this all about? Uh, well, some policeman got a little excited. He thought he recognized the earrings. He'd be a hero. He was wrong. And now everything's okay. There was no harm done. Nobody's hurt. And I still have the earrings. And they're beautiful. Oh, I see. You know I'm not a thief. Because the police told me. Well, honey, that's not it. No? Ma, let me ask you something. When Pop heard out about all this, that you got arrested, did he say, oh, boy, this must be some big mistake, or did he say, Tony gave your mother stolen earrings? Well, honey, he heard I got arrested, and he didn't think you could afford beautiful earrings, so he kind of jumped to a conclusion, but it was a conclusion anyone could have jumped to. It yeah? Was... Would he jump to that conclusion if Billy gave you the earrings? Yes. Yeah? understand your father. Why? Why do I have to understand him? Why can't he ever understand me? I'm 
sorry I yelled. It hurts. It hurts. Right away, my whole family is ready to believe the worst of me. How do you deal with that, Ma? You tell me. How do I live with that? Oh, Tom. Honey, you're wrong. You're wrong, sweetheart. The police didn't have to tell me you were innocent. I knew that as well as I know where your dimple is. Ah. <laughs> I mean that, honey. I never doubted you for a second. I have all the faith in the world in you. And you know what? Deep down, so does your father. Boy, I want to believe that. Believe it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Boy, it sure is good to see you again. Oh, Ma, it's great to see you. That's why I came back to see you tonight. That's why I come to the house. You what? Yeah. Yeah, I come to... It was like, it was like the big surprise Billy had planned. I was going to be your birthday present, right? But when, when I got there, like, everybody was gone. I guess everything got crazy by then. You came to see me? No, I came to see the cat dish. Uh -huh. Of course you. Oh. Who else? Oh, boy. Hey, you know what? Oh, gee, this is the happiest birthday I ever had. Ma, you got arrested. Trust me, honey, I'm happy. Okay, let's go get Billy, okay? Huh? Come on, honey. Okay, Billy! Bill! Yeah, Ma. Billy, oh, sweetheart, thank you for the birthday gift. This is the best gift <laughs> I ever got. Oh, boy, and now you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna go celebrate, and I know just what we're gonna do. What's that? We're gonna go find Tony a decent place to live. Ma. <laughs> Hi, kids. See, I'm sorry, dinner's gonna be a little bit late. What chaos at the supermarket. This very large woman got wedged in the express lane. <laughs> was a mess. Oh. I'm not kidding. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear mama. Happy birthday to you. Hey. Yay! Oh, that's lovely. How do you like the cake? I made it myself. Honey, you've never cooked anything except salami sandwiches. Dad, I made that for dessert. <laughs> oh, honey, I have the best husband and the best three children in the whole world. What three? Two, one, two. Pop, three, the three best. <laughs> oh, well, let's eat the cake. Yeah, come on, help me get some uh, plates, will you? I didn't get a chance to clean up in there. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, Tina, it almost worked. What? Getting Tony to come. But maybe next time. Now, you mark my words. One more week, I'll get him to come here. I hope so. Hmm. Hey, you know what? What? If we eat this, we'll die. <laughs> <laughs> High Adventure Monday, when an old treasure map leads the Salvage One team to a rendezvous with death. Then Zeb McCahan uses love to capture a rebel on how the West was won. Watch Monday night starting at 8. Now stay tuned for What's Happening next on ABC.